intro where I like open the door and I'm like oh I didn't see you there come on in um, but then I realized I would probably rather die than have any of my like neighbors see that from me so I won't be doing any of that just welcome hi how's it going I live in Smith I'm not gonna say where specifically for privacy reasons but I do live in Smith Hall um, so I wanted to show you uh, what a typical dorm looks like in that hall. I don't know how much this applies to other places in Boulder, but I'm assuming if you live in one of the more updated buildings, then your room will probably look relatively similar or similar enough. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, the first thing I want to show you is my closet. I've just kept my stuff up here that I like don't need on a daily basis. I have my laundry detergent, bleach, my helmet, extra sheets, some hats, stuff like that. These closets specifically fit in a lot. I don't know, I mean you can count if you feel the need to. Enough for me to keep most of my clothes. Actually when I went home after moving in, I went and grabbed more clothes. <laughs> uh, there also is enough room to do like I did here where I had a command code to just hang my coat. I put my towel on the side here. Ooh. Oh, just to let it dry. Down here, I bought a shoe rack and then I just gave up with organizing my shoes. And then I have my hamper here very well organized as you can tell. I put some grocery bags back there and my yoga mat. Um, so the closet, the same size and they're both right next to each other. Here's the door for just contacts. So here's the closet and here's the bed area. It's easily my favorite part. So I have type 1 diabetes, which means I needed accommodations. So my accommodation specifically was I got a second fridge for all of my supplies. So I have my vials of insulin up there and then I have juice and Gatorade for if my blood sugar goes low. This won't be in every dorm. Um, you will have a fridge, but this is just a smaller one for my own needs. Um, and then I put it over this dresser. This dresser is very helpful. Ignore the crumbs on the floor. We haven't had a chance to vacuum. Uh, this is good. It has a drawer that you can lock. So I just keep some personal stuff in there. And then this drawer, I've kept some of my paint, some of my notebooks, headphones, whatever miscellaneous stuff in here. Um, and then on top, I've put my lamp. Uh, they give you a lamp, by the way. I did not know that. And it's actually pretty good. It is very warm light, just so you know. But they're, the, the lamps are pretty good. And I've just kept my stuff here. I brought this from home. Um, I brought these, whatever they're called. I'm trying to remember. Um, but I brought these because I don't want to, you know, have anything leak and damage anything. Because, again, this is, I'm just borrowing this space. My cord situation is a little bit whack, but I've used this command strip plus binder clip contraption to keep my cords up here. Is it the most elegant looking? No, but it works. <laughs> and I think that's what college is all about. So interesting to know. I know a lot of people say to bring mattress toppers. I did but then it was too soft for me and I actually ended up taking it off and just using the hard mattress. And so I do highly recommend testing it out first before you make the purchase of a mattress topper because like me, you might prefer the harder mattress over the softer mattress topper. 
Here are the posters I hung up. These are mostly just random. <laughs> this one's funny because it's for a different school that I applied to and then ended up not, uh, not going. But the poster was so cute that I decided to keep it. I added a couple paintings like this one, that one, and this one, and that one are all my paintings. And so I hung them up. See the chimney pillow if you recognize that. And I also did, as sure you saw earlier, have one of these little blocks to help you step up to your bed. The beds are automatically at this height when you move in. You can choose to either raise or lower them. I think there is a price to do that, I'm not sure. But I found that this situation worked out really well for me. So they do provide you, let me just flip this up real quick. They do provide you with this three drawer dresser um, and I got these two myself. I keep closing this one and then miscellaneous supplies that I just reach for in this one. Um, and the good thing about these is that they are on little rollers. So I can do is I can roll it out and then I keep stuff under my bed. It's very messy, but you can't tell from outside. Uh, that's the mattress topper that I regret buying. Um, so you can just store stuff in there. I'm storing boxes for when I need to eventually move back. So when I make my bed in the morning and just have this kind of drape over and it hides it, not like 100% but well enough, it makes it look super clean and super nice. Now on to the desk area. I brought one of these carts and actually I had moved my desk. Originally it was to this wall. I flipped it around so it is facing this way. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to flip it at the end of the year, but whatever. Um, I have this cart that I think every college student has at this point. Down here I have like vanity stuff because usually that's the kind of stuff I reach for. Usually I try to put stuff that I need to remember like subconsciously um, within reach so I do remember to grab it. The second is for my snacks. Uh, again, type 1 diabetic so having fruit snacks is very useful. Also I just like them. Uh, I have Tupperware. I do recommend bringing Tupperware. Make sure you get stuff that's microwave safe. Um, because I found that I kind of use, I just use these as plates. <laughs> really living the luxurious college life here. And then I have, I have trash bags, and then in here is, I put, um, granola bars. It's just a little snack section. And then up here is my shower. Um, I put a towel underneath because this gets kind of wet. I have my hair dryer. This is for like my skincare to pull my face back. I won't go over everything I have, but this is my shower caddy. Here is my backpack. I've put it here because that's where it's technically supposed to go, but it usually ends up on the floor next to my desk. Moving on, I try to keep the actual surface of my desk pretty clear of things because that's where I need to work and like spread out. So I try to keep the surface clear. I have pencils, pens, my iPad and my laptop. Again, a coaster for uh, my drinks. Mirror for when I do my makeup in the morning. Paint brushes. I haven't had the time to paint yet. So I don't know, this is questionable. And then my highlighters, cause I'm a aesthetic notes girl. I need to have my highlighters. This box is just a cable organizer. Uh, very, very useful, keeps everything kind of hidden. And then this is the lamp that I bought for myself. I don't regret it because I have a desk lamp now and a bedside lamp, but my roommate uses her lamp that CU gave her for both um, and it works fine for her. Yeah, so it all just depends on how your room is arranged and stuff like that. So. That, just that. 
Then you have two shelves on top of your desk. Uh, the first one, tissues, wipes. This is my jewelry box. This is a cute little Ralphie stuffed animal that I got for doing yoga. Uh, fantastic. This, this clock, it also has like timer and stuff. I don't really need it. I don't know, I have it. I think it's just easier to like glance at it when I'm doing work. Whatever, makeup bag that I did not zip up, but that's okay. Um, and this is a bowl. This bowl is microwavable. So if I need to microwave anything, I'll just take this stuff out, but I keep my headphones and a miscellaneous cord in there. And then up here, I do have my K-pop albums, but <laughs> they look kind of sad. Uh, this is just a normal notebook. I have my switch and my controller. I just use this for my iPad and it works fine. Glasses and sunglasses. I love my sunglasses collection, it's so cute. These are my normal scene glasses. I'm wearing contacts right now. The desk also comes with a drawer. This is where I keep all my miscellaneous stationery. I do keep my mouse and keyboard in here, again, so I have enough desk space, but if I'm specifically working on something that requires just my computer, then I'll bring them out. I also have a mouse pad. This is just a journal. I have my planner, my sketchbook, sticky notes, white out, all the miscellaneous stationery stuff that I need. Um, desk chairs are pretty comfortable. Nothing to write home about, but they're pretty good. Also, I've just, the plug is over here. I recommend, I definitely recommend bringing like extension cords and power strips and all that because I've used an extension cord for my power strip. Um, and this is a consequence of me moving my desk, but to kind of have everything under here so I can have my cables kind of out of the way. Again, it's pretty messy down here, but it's kind of inevitable when you're using such little space. Then, sorry to my roommate, but I do have kind of an extra shelf, uh, which is the windowsill. Uh, they have really big windowsills, so. Put a point here. This is just so I can heat up water for like, you know, I could use it for ramen, for tea, for, hot chocolate in the winter. So if you don't have like a coffee maker or whatever, I recommend getting these if you think that'd be useful. I did not think about this. I only got this a couple days ago. This is my toiletry stuff. I keep it separate from my shower stuff because like I don't need to take like my hairbrush into the shower or like my flossers into the shower. So I just had it as two separate things and that's worked pretty well for me. And then I have my cooking supplies here. This is a container, it's mostly just for storage because I don't think it's microwavable safe. I want it at an event and I don't really use it, so. Dish soap, and then this is a coffee mug that they gave us, but I don't drink coffee. So I've just been using it to hold my utensils. Yes. And over here, everyone's going to have this. I just have my Google up here. Everyone has a microwave, everyone has a fridge. The fridges do not have a lot of room in them. I know they're small, they're mini. They do have a freezer. I just have, the mine came with an ice cube tray. I don't know if yours will, but it doesn't work all that well. So I, I don't know if you like ice, I might bring your own. Uh, but they do have a freezer. And then down here, again, there's not a lot of room. In here, there's some apples. My roommate got some sushi. My roommate's side is over here, so again, I'm not going to show it. These are some of her string lights. And also, the walls do have these pin boards. So you can, um, I'll just show on my side. So you can, you know, pin stuff on to the wall. I know there's some that are magnets, so you don't actually like put holes in your posters. I don't really care all that much. So I took this one off because I would rest my head against it and it would hurt. Um, so that's not the most aesthetic, but sometimes you gotta prioritize your rest over aesthetic. But then on these, I just used uh, sticky stuff and I do recommend bringing command hooks. They're very, very helpful. 
thank you so much for watching my dorm tour. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that if you are thinking about coming to see you that this has helped in any way shape or form. For those of you who don't know where Smith is, it's in Kittredge which is a small neighborhood of dorms. Kittredge is about five minutes from the nearest dining hall which is and this is all on foot which is very helpful and then um, a 15 minute walk from central campus which might seem like a lot and it kind of is sometimes but you can usually get to everywhere you want to go also i do recommend bringing a bike um, it's super helpful you can get across campus in about five minutes as opposed to that 15 minutes but do buy if you don't already have a pretty inexpensive bike, I do recommend buying an inexpensive bike. If you have a bike that's going to be on the more exp expensive side, uh, bike theft is really bad at CU. I bought a bike and my front wheel was stolen. I do recommend getting a cheap bike. I got mine from Walmart and it works just fine to bring me you know, to and from my classes, especially living in Kittredge where it, you're not right next to all of your classes. But I really, really love living in Kittredge. You have the pond, you have kind of a sense of going home is what people like to say, uh, because there's not a lot of classes. Uh, there's no, there's no like classrooms in Kittredge, you just have your specific classes for your um, RAPs, which is Residential Academic Programs. If you guys want me to talk about those a little bit, um, please let me know, especially if you are interested in Smith Hall specifically and the Honors Wrap, I can talk about that. Thank you so much for watching and stick around for more videos. Uh, I will see you guys later. Bye bye!